Postman is a great tool for exploring and testing any API, and it's no different with Cloudversive APIs. In this video, I'm going to walk you through importing and testing the Cloudmersive Virus Scan API on the Postman desktop application, and I'll also show you how to configure your Cloudmersive API endpoint in the Variables tab of your collection. This API provides 360 degree content protection, scanning files for millions of virus and malware signatures, while also allowing you to set custom policies against hidden content threats like executables, macros, invalid files, and many more. We'll start off here in the Postman desktop application with a new workspace created. Let's start off by opening up the import window. To find that window, we can click on the menu in the top left corner of the page, hover over File, and click Import from that list. We can alternatively just hit Ctrl-O from our workspace page in the future. Now that we have our URL import window open, we need to fetch the actual Virus Scan API URL. We can find this on the Cloudmersive website, so let's open up our internet browser and head over there now. From the Cloudmersive homepage, let's click on the search bar and type Postman. This will bring up written documentation covering the same process I'm demonstrating in this video, so let's go ahead and click on that now. When we scroll down this page, we'll find a list of Cloudmersive APIs and their corresponding URLs. This list is organized alphabetically, so we'll find the Virus Scan API down at the bottom. Let's highlight the Virus Scan API URL and copy it to our clipboard. Once that's done, we can head back to the Postman application. Let's now paste our URL into the Postman import window. After a few seconds, let's opt to keep Postman collection selected and then click Import. We can now navigate over to our Collections tab on the left-hand side of the Postman app to find our imported API. Once we find it, we can click through a few API path dropdowns until we find options to scan websites, files, or cloud storage instances. Let's click on the File Scanning Path, which gives us the option to select either advanced or basic virus scans. It's slightly more complicated to configure the advanced scan, so let's follow the advanced scan path and click on that iteration when it comes up. Now we can go about configuring our advanced scan request. The first thing we should do is click on the authorization tab below the API path. This is where we can provide our API key to authorize our requests. As you likely already know, you can find your API key in the Cloudmersive Account Management Center within the API Keys section. If you don't currently have an API key and you're interested in quickly testing any of our APIs, you can easily create a free account on our website to get 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments. Once we have our API key copied to our clipboard, let's paste it into the value field. With our API key authorization step out of the way, Let's now click on the Headers tab directly next to the Authorization tab. In here, we'll find a list of all the custom threat rules we can set using the Advanced Virus Scan API. We can set these with regular Boolean values, and it's recommended that we set all of them to false. Below our threat rules, we can also restrict file types in our requests by providing a comma-separated list of acceptable file extensions. 
Even if we don't particularly care about that right now, it's still important that we set this list for our postman test because postman actually fills this field with junk if we don't do that. I'm going to restrict my file types to PDF, DOCX, and PowerPoint. Just note that there should not be any spaces in between your file extensions, and improperly formatting this request can give you a clean result false response for clean files. Lastly, let's configure our request's form data in the body tab. Postman sets the input file key to a text value by default, so we need to click on this tab and select File instead. After that, we can use the file selector to grab a test file. I'm using a generic lorem ipsum PDF for this demonstration. Once our file name shows up in the value column, we can click send to initiate our test. Once that request finishes, let's check out the API response body at the bottom of the page. In the pretty tab, we'll find a nicely structured JSON object with all our API response information. The all important clean result response is the first Boolean on that list, and if we test it with a clean file, we should have a true response here. Like I mentioned before, if we see a false response for files that we know to be clean, it's very likely that one or more of our headers wasn't properly configured. The API will verify any file we test against the custom file restrictions we set, and we will see our verified file extension confirmed in the verified file format response below the threat role responses. If a file doesn't match our file restriction list, we'll get a clean result false response instead. Now that we've successfully tested the API functionality, let's quickly run through regional endpoint configuration. Let's first head back to our collections tab and then scroll down to our virus scan API import once again. Let's now click on the option to view more actions. From here, we can go ahead and click on the variables tab. As we can see, I have a base URL variable set to api.cloudmersive.com, which is the North American public cloud endpoint. If you are a private cloud, private tenant cloud, or premium customer, you can set the current value column to your particular IP address. You'll just need to start off with typical HTTP format and include your IP address right after that. With our endpoint configuration step complete, we've reached the end of this demonstration. If you have any additional questions about getting set up on Postman, please do not hesitate to reach out to a member of our sales or support teams through our website.